Aloha. Top of the morning, friends and family. Once a week on this channel, we put out one beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece. We also put out a video that's uncut. And in today's uncut, I just wanted to come and talk to you guys. Look at my fancy little background I've got going on right now. My, all my, look at that nice triple B thing streaming over this snake. <laughs> so I just finished doing a triple B TV live stream, something we're going to be doing. For those of you that aren't aware, that may be new to the channel, I have another channel called Triple B TV where I interview and talk with people throughout the reptile and uh, exotic animal industry. And we just did one of those with my buddy Garrett last night, talking about, or tonight, as I'm recording, talking about some of the drama that can happen in the industry, and as I've discovered, happens outside the industry. I was well aware of it, but it's just, it got me to thinking about making this video right here, and, and why I'm even making this video, why I make any videos at all, why I share my journey with, with snakes, and all of that, and... It comes down to love. It really ultimately comes down to love. <laughs> love of these animals that don't necessarily love us back, though I still love them the same. And the main conclusion that I came to is that I make these videos because I love you guys too. I, I it, It's love. I, I love you guys. Even if some of you out there don't love me back, I still love you. And I think that's why I've enjoyed this hobby industry so much is because I found so many people who love animals that don't love them back and we all are bonded by that. Those of us that keep these reptiles. I've been blessed to have folks that don't keep animals watch this channel too and, and maybe hopefully get inspired to maybe keep an animal like this even if it doesn't love them back. Um, it's been a bit of a tumultuous week for me, uh, not just physically, but spiritually and, and mentally and emotionally, all, all that. There's been a, a lot going on that I haven't necessarily shared about here, but it's just been happening. And uh, none of it would happen if I chose to do some type of work to support my family that didn't cause me to be involved with so many people on a regular basis. If I just kind of put my head down, went to work and, and made the money that I needed to make to support the family, I, I can do that. I've got plenty of skills that I can do that. I, I, I've got the know-how and ability to live a life where I don't need to interact with so many people on such a regular basis, which is also the cause of most of my problems as I see them in my life today. But I love you guys and I, and I love even the people that, that don't love me back. And I just want to express that as clearly as possible. And I usually fail at it. I fail at it often. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm a flawed human, just like I believe all of us are flawed humans. But my hope and love keeps me coming back. My hope for the future of humanity uh, is pretty bleak sometimes. But I do have that hope still. And my reason for making these videos is to hopefully share some of that hope with you guys. And though I may fail at it, often is that desire to truly communicate that love that brings me back time and time again to make yet another video and to not go back to doing something that wouldn't have me in such a vulnerable position for somebody who is a just converted introvert like myself. I've been blessed to be able to do the things that I really love to do and be able to mostly support myself 
with help from family and, and friends and loved ones. Certainly wouldn't be able to do it without them. Um, if I didn't have support of family and friends, I probably wouldn't be here at all. Um, and... It's a complicated subject. And I make these videos, just hit the record button without a lot of forethought sometimes. And so that causes me to mess things up from time to time. But I'm fortunate that there are plenty of you out there that do love me back and forgive me for those, those faults. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Um, I was, I was blessed with the gift of music to be able to hear and differentiate, differentiate between the different notes without having to try and was fortunate to play music for a good portion of my life and be able to live off of that, you know, being, being at least good enough so that people would want to pay me to play that music. It's fantastic. Um, took hiatus from that to come back and live here in California to where I could keep snakes again. And then found that these snakes have been supporting me. And then my love of these snakes and, and the videos that I created because of that love of snakes and now it's so much more than just the love of snakes and wanting people to know about them. Um, as you see this background here, the Triple B, the first channel I had, Triple B TV, was all about teaching people about snakes. So the, the stuff that I knew, the stuff that I was learning, that I had learned. And then it just grew to be so much more than that. And... I'm conflicted on a regular basis as to whether or not to keep doing this. But again, it's that love, you know, but, but then there's also like, like this snake right here is this, this is Roxanne, by the way, I call her Roxanne because she's always putting on the red light. Always. Even though she doesn't have to, like, I'm not going to hurt her, but every time I take her out, she's just got to let me know. And even now, even though I've built up this good amount of trust with her, it still is a little unnerving when she's pointed right at my neck and giving these little tiny hisses. And that's kind of how I feel about making these videos sometimes. It's like, yeah, it'll probably be okay. Most people will probably be okay with whatever it is I put out, and I, I won't have to worry about somebody going for my jugular. But every now and then, somebody does, and it gives me that little bit of apprehension before I put out a video. Like, is that snake going to bite me today? Right in my neck? I hope not. But even if she does, I'll still love her. Because this snake actually once pooped on my face and bit me at the same exact time. She was much smaller then. It was a bit less detrimental than if she happened to, t to grab my neck right now. But I do hope that if I put enough love into her, as I have over the years now, that I won't have to worry about that because she's just going to do some little hisses here and there. Let me know that, hey, you might be messing up a little bit here, buddy. You got some faults. But I'm just going to let you know with some light hisses and not actually take you out in the jugular. <laughs> the, the angle on the screen, I'm sure, looks much le less threatening than I feel with her pointed at my neck like that, doing these light hisses. And as with many of my videos that I put out, I feel like the message I was trying to convey was already put out in the first few seconds of the video. But I'll drive it home again. I make these videos because I love you guys. Not because I have to. And I hope you feel that.
And that's all I have to say today. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.